it's kind of chilly out here, don't you think? I guess I didn't fool you, did I? You can see the sweat on my brow, but that's the way we want it to feel. It's called theming. When we're here at Universal Orlando Resort, and I've caught up with the horticulturist Linda Hall, director of horticulture, and you know, this makes me feel like maybe on another country or another climate. Is that, is that what you want? Is that what theming is? Absolutely. It is cold out here, and that's exactly what we want you to think. Um, setting the stage for movie magic is a big part of what we do at Universal, and horticulture pay, plays a really big part in that. Yeah, and, and I guess it's the plants, and it really gives you that feeling. It is, it is. Here we have some Cedars Theodora, some Cryptomeria. It sets the stage for the, the blues and the cold feeling and the s snow in Scotland. I know it feels like we're in Scotland. I was in Scotland not too long ago. It really does feel like this. Now, you, you're experimenting a little bit. You have the cryptomeria here, mm -hmm. and, and maybe that's not the best one. I mean, it's not doing quite um, as well. This one in particular is doing very well, but mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't recommend it for the homeowner. But the, the Cedars Diodoras, Hollies, Southern Red Cedars, Thuia Green Giants, Leyland Cypress, Absolutely fantastic plants for your yard. All plants that they can use. So, so it's the plants that set the theme and give us that coolish feeling or maybe being in another country area. Now, it is. Are, are these hard to take care of? No, they're actually very easy. Low maintenance, maintenance free virtually. Wow. Hey, I think I hear something. Can you hear that? I do. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. We're going to go up there. I'm getting excited. Come on, follow us. <laughs> Linda, I think I see it over there. Look, right over there. Come oh no, over. it's a Spinosaurus. Look wow. out! Look wow. out! Wow, well, you found me a dinosaur. I did. Wow, that's kind of neat. We're in the jungle area right now, folks, and I'll tell you, we can feel it too, can't we? You can really feel it. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's the way the jungles are all the time. Absolutely. And you've got overhead cover. Is that important? We do, and I would recommend that for your yard if you wanted to create Jurassic Park. Um, start with a lot of nice tropical trees, create a canopy for your lower case plantings, and that will help a lot in the winters here. Yeah. You've got a very special feature on this side here, and it's that very big palm. We can't leave without no, talking about can't. that one. No, we can It's magnificent. That is a Phoenix Reclinotic Hybrid, and mm -hmm. it was the first tree planted in Islands of Adventure. It's an amazing specimen. And that one came out of South Florida. You had to it truck did. it up. We trucked it up. Yeah. And this is the <laughs> highest point? It's the highest point in Islands of Adventure. How about that? And there's a lot of uh, uh, tropical type things here. When I look up here, I see gingers. Now, they've finished flowering there, but they can be orange. They can be oh, other yes. tropical yes. colors, things of that nature. Just a nice big planting. A lot of it's just greenery or different leaf types, it's isn't it? It's a lot of leaf types and texture, and it's about finding what you like for your yard. And, and that's half of the fun of it is researching it and and finding what fits your personality for your your garden. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what that would be. What are you trying to tell me? Uh, but over here we have all this uh, big tree cover and, and that's part of it too. Yeah. And, and you could come out here and just sit underneath this. You have a oh, bench you could. or something It creates like a great canopy for your yard. Yeah. Now let's see how good I am, okay? Okay, go ahead. Uh, Calathea. Absolutely. Yeah. They call it the second chance plant, actually, because yes. it's one that people can let go back and the way it'll come back. Philodendron. Mm -hmm. and, and then we have a plant up here, which is, I call it, uh, what do I call it? The whirly pinwheel, gig, pinwheel yeah. plant. That's it. I want to say jasmine. whirly gig plant. <laughs> <laughs> and there's actually a little flower up on the top of that one coming out. Now, way over here, it looks like like a real jungle uh, it, in this area. It's year. an we'll organized jungle. Is it? Yes. We'll stay right here and kind of get the picture of it. But what do you have in there? What we have is a mixture of different kinds of tropical ferns, cordylines with a splash of color, alocasias, palms, Australian tree ferns, you name it, palm grass. It's all in there. A lot of people don't know the palm grass and they really should. Oh, it's a great plant. It's hard to find, but you can with a little bit of searching and it loves the shade yeah. so it do good under your large trees. And you can see, get these from garden centers I you trust can, most of can. them anyway yes. you said the palm. Yes. Now is it hard to take care of these plants? It's really not. Uh, it depends on the look you want. If you want a jungle you really don't have to do too much. You just make sure that they get a lot of moisture. Yeah and, and if you get the summer rains that helps out a lot. It absolutely does. Yeah and it kind of makes you sweat just a yes, little bit does. folks. Linda thank you so much You're for welcome. taking me on this tour. This is really great going through the jungle. Well we started out actually in the cool area and then we went into the jungle area and you know you can do this at home too. So why don't you stop by Universal Orlando Resort and take a look and you can see how to do it. It's fun.